Hi everyone and welcome to the second video on the channel. My name is Jay, if you're just joining us, welcome to Geared Up Garage. It's my first, well it's my second YouTube video, my first proper video working on this Audi TT. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing this here and fitting it on the car. That is a black RS grille for the TT because at the moment it has the horrible chrome one on it and no one wants that, no one likes that grille. So we're gonna be changing it. Uh, without further ado, let's get this stuff open because you guys don't wanna see me hanging around. So let's get on and fit this grille. Okay, so here we are, we've got the box. I've just gone and gathered all of my tools up. We've got the jack there to pull the wheels off. I'll go into that later. But let's open up this grille now and see it's any good. Oh, it's really hard to do this one-handed. There we go. Standing by the way. Safety first, people. Right. Ugh. Leave that there. I'll tell you what. I'll let you guys know when it's out. So now we've unboxed the grill. It's under this cover here. We've got a little box there. I'm assuming that's got the Audi badge rings in it. Right. Without further ado, let's open up this grill. And see what we have. Oh, it's cut there. Right, let's pull this grill out. There we go. Okay, so the grill is out. It's done in a very nice, what can I even describe as satin black? It looks like a pretty good quality grill, to be fair. Um, I think the box has the. Come on. Unbox there if it makes it look so much easier. Yeah, so in there we've got the Audi guide rings, which we could put on there if we wanted to. I'm not actually going to bother. I'm going to do it without the the Audi rings on it at all, um, just because I think it looks a bit meaner. We've got the number plate holes and stuff like that there. All of the screws and stuff on top looks like they match up, so which is really good. Last time I bought a grill, I bought it for an RSQ3 accidentally because I read the ad wrong. So didn't have none of any of those holes and things like that. So we should be in business and good to go. So without further ado, Let's pop the hood and um, start taking bits off, shall we? Okay, so the hood has been popped, as you can see, we've got the two litre turbo badge there, but that's not why you're here. You're here to see me change this grill. So as you can see here, we've got the, um, the front uh, bolts there. I think this just pops off uh, and this pops off as well. And then there's two clips either side of the wheel arch. So we're gonna be pull the wheels off just because it's easier. I've got axle stands and stuff like that here. So it's pretty simple for me to do that. Um, plus I can slide up underneath a lot easier as well. Where I've had it lowered and I'm six foot three, uh, it's not the easiest to get underneath. And unfortunately we don't have the luxury of ramps as of yet. So uh, yeah, I believe this should be, uh, well, an interesting fit. So let's get the wheels jacked up and, sorry, let's get the car jacked up and get the wheels off. Right. Let's do that. If anyone's watching this that has never jacked up a car before, this is how you do it. So first thing, you wanna make sure that your jack actually fits underneath your car. And then secondly, you're gonna to wanna to look for the jacking points underneath. So I believe on the TT, they are around there somewhere. Normally you jack up on chassis only. So I believe these are the jacking points here. They're pretty, that's obviously trim, but that must, there must be the jacking point. So let's get it in the air and uh, yeah, and get these axle stands underneath. So she's in the air. We've got the axle stand underneath. As you can see there, she's good to go. That gives us plenty of room now to get underneath it. Next thing I've got to do is rip these wheels off because I've got to get to the clips behind. I know people say that you can uh, turn the wheels either way and you don't have to take them off, but I'd rather just take them off because then that way it's a lot easier to mess around and I'm not tight with space and things like that. So if you can do it easily, just do it and get it done. So yeah, let's rip these wheels off now. If you can see me checking my hands, it's because of all the copper slip that I put on there last time. I proper overloaded these with uh, copper slip. So they, they come off nice and easy, but as you can see, my hands are proper greasy now. So well done, Jay. And for also the same time, like, why? <laughs> right, let's go get the other side off and the doodle locking walnuts. On to the next. It's important not to rush these kind of things because I have a really bad habit of just rushing through and then you never know when you're uh, gonna round something off. Which is exactly what happened last time I tried to change the grill on this car. Rounded the front bolt off, so that's gonna be really interesting to see. Hopefully, it's not as bad as I remember. 
Right, wheels are off. Oh, we should get in. that shot. Uh, wheels are off, on to the next. Okay, so we're now going to be doing this top side. Uh, I'm going to take the headlights out because it's easier to get to the bolts behind them. We're going to pull these black clips off. Then I've got two bolts under there, some bolts from the bottom, and a bolt like in there. So let's pull these off. They should just, oh, nice and easy. That just comes off. We'll lay that down there. Try and keep all the parts left and right side if we can. Um, ignore those. Those are my lead sheets from a band that I used to have. There you go, guys. I used to play in a band. <laughs> Right, and pull this side off as well. So I believe we just grab it from there. I've had these off previously, so that's probably why they're coming off quite easily. Uh, perhaps I didn't put them back on in the best order. So we've got one bolt there, one bolt in there, two, three, four, one bolt in there. Uh, and I think the rest are, we've got one like in there, a couple over there, and then a couple down below as well. So let's pull these top bolts off and go from there. It's not playing ball that one. It's definitely a definitely one of those. It's not good. Don't want to round that off. It's not all fun and games, everyone, I'll tell you that. Yay! So a little trick. If you've accidentally ever rounded off a bolt or you're about to round a bolt off, if you can get the size bigger, so in this case that size, I'm pretty sure that's a T30 and I couldn't get a T30 in it, well I could but it rounded off, so I got a T40 um, and then if you can just give it a tap in and then it should go. You might need a little bit of persuasion but for the most part it should help, uh, definitely help me there, so here we go. <laughs> for this side. There we go. That top of that grill is absolutely pancaked. Let me show you guys that. That is absolutely gone. So when I say like it's rounding off and stuff like that, I mean you can quite literally see there the breaking of the whole clip and stuff like that. So like if we take that off, I mean you can see in there, look there's there's nothing holding that on, that's just broken. There was no point of that bolt even being in there. So, you know, it's uh, just wear and tear over time, which is why it's good to replace parts and things. So, uh, yeah, that's actually a left side grill part. So we'll put that over here out of the way so we don't lose it. And then we'll grab the screwdriver and we'll take the last of these top ones off. There we go. And that's also a left side bolt. I'll show you guys taking out the last uh, last bolt there. So that should be that front grill, the top part should be. Yep, that's pretty loose. Oh, you can give that a bit more of a pull actually. Okay, so that's as far as you're supposed to get from the videos and the stuff like that, that I've seen. Is it supposed to be pretty flexible at the top? So then what we have to do is pull these headlights out because there's bolts behind there that are keeping this grill on as well as like four clips on the bottom, I think. So that's my next job. This is as far as I've ever got. So we're pretty much going into no man's land now. So wish me luck. We're doing this together. <laughs> what I can see, there's one there. It looks like you've got your one in there and possibly one behind. I'm not entirely sure. We'll whip that off and try and whip that off and then see where we go from there. Okay, so I've tried removing the bolts. Um, there's one down in there and obviously one on the other side and they do not want to come off. In fact, this one is somewhat rounded um, thanks to my handiwork. So what I'm going to have to try and do, as I said earlier, try and bash a Torx bit in there. Um, I don't have a bit driver that I actually holds, so I'm going to cut off a bit of this rubber glove, put it in there and then try and drive it out with a ratchet rather than try and use this. Um, so hopefully that works. Uh, as I say, I'm hoping, this is as far as I've ever got and I've always got stuff on this bit. So hopefully today is the day we can do it. So let's crack on. Finally, 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 we can take the last of the bolts out of this. As you can see, it's moving and this one as well, it's doing it. So this is the furthest we've ever got, well, furthest I've ever got with this job. Let's get these headlights out 
and let's try and see if we can fit this grill. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm actually doing this for real. Okay, so headlights are about to come out. I don't know how Audi expects you to get into these bolts here. It is absolutely ridiculous trying to get in there. And then this one, I'm pretty sure I accidentally just, I broke the clip trying to get it out because I just, it wasn't coming out. Same as down there. I rounded that off as well. This is a proper butcher job. But as I say, I'm not a mechanic. We'll repair it when it goes back on, but at least I can get to it now. Uh, the lights are coming off. So let's get these lights on the floor and have a look at this grill then, shall we? All right, so now we've got the headlights out and on the floor and under there and under there. I think we've got to take this one off. Uh, I think there's another one on this side there. And then I think there's another one either, oh yeah, look, down there. There's another one we've got to do, uh, which hopefully we can get to from the bottom. And then I think there's some clips on the bottom, which I can kind of see down there. So yeah, that's the next job we've got to try and do is get these, uh, get this bumper off. Top two clips are off. We've got that one and that one off. I've still got to do the one below that, uh, but I'm moving around here because I've been told it's easier to get to them. So we're gonna pull that clip off, that clip off, that clip off, and then maybe that one as well. And then hopefully we can like pull this back and give that a go. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's give that a go then. Yeah, I pulled back the line in, but I've just gone through this way, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to pull back the line in or if you're just supposed to take it off this way. One thing tells you to do one thing, the forum say do the other. So yeah, this is the way we're doing it. So we're gonna get that off, which I think it's pretty much there now. Oh. and then. Uh, try and do the other side I guess okay so this side is out and this side is out and I think there are some clips underneath that I have to do now so let's rip the belly pan off and have a look and see what they are unless we don't need to rip the belly pan off and we can un ah hello I'm wondering if you are the culprit what do you think guys should we pull this off and uh, I'm thinking this is it. I'm thinking if we pull this off, it should come off. Let's give this a go. Wow, okay, so the front bumper is actually really close to coming off. I think this side is more or less off. I've got to disconnect that. Uh, and then there's this side. A clip did come out when I was, like, when I pulled it. So I'm hoping I haven't broken anything. I mean, that's still, oh, that's still probably tight because I haven't undone those. That's what that would be. So let's undo these clips and then I'm hoping this thing should just come off. I figured out what, uh, what it was still attached to. Remember how I said earlier, it doesn't connect to the oil pan? Well, the cover, yeah, it does. And it's pulled the whole lot down with it. Look at that, it snapped it. Nice one, Jay, well done. Well, at least the front grill's off. So let's change this thing and get it all back together. <laughs> Let's get this off. Good news is, as well, I also found the bolt that dropped off. So in theory, this should now just do this. Whee, that didn't sound good. That was a clip. I have no idea where that goes. Um, let's pretend that that never happened. Okay, so now the grill's off. It's away from the car. We can look into the next bit. So we've got to try and pull this off to put that on. So I'm thinking one there, one there, pull these clips out and pray. Let's give that a go, shall we? And there's a big, big problem with this. The bolt holes here do not line up anywhere close. Like, no, like that's how it's supposed to sit. And they're nowhere near. So I'm not sure how I'm going to fix this to that. I may have to either super glue it or cable tie it or silicone it. But I for sure ain't screwing it. That is a huge, huge bummer. I don't quite know. I mean, maybe these bottom ones might. But the old one doesn't have screws coming off. So I'm not entirely sure how we're going to fix this problem. 
all I know is I'm going to fix it, and probably, all right, and in the next scene, I'll tell you what, in the next scene, you're going to see how I fix the problem, because I don't even know how I'm going to fix this yet. So, future me, take it away. Thanks, past me. Well, we did it. We got it in. Uh, I actually used some sort of mechanical, intuitive and did it, although it was quite an obvious answer, but one that took me a little while to find. So let me show you what I did, guys. Um, you're going to be blown away by this. It's so intuitive. I put two screws in it. One there and one there. Fortunately enough, in my, bo bo uh, my bottom drawer in my toolbox, I had some bits and bobs and two screws that just so happened to fit absolutely perfectly. So thank you, universe. Um, yeah, she's, she's rock solid. Once the top bolts go in, she's good to go. Oh, my days. Let's get this thing on. So we've called in the big guns because the bolt that I couldn't get out earlier, the one that I rounded off, we're now trying to get it out. So um, big guns is here. We've got dad working on it. So as you can see, we've got a pair of moleys on it, uh, trying to get it off. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not easy, is it, dad? Not turning it. No, it's so hopefully we'll be able to um, let's get this out. Um, if not, I don't know how it's going to fit back without it. So we're going to have to get this it out. Is going. It is going. It is going. See you in a bit when it's out. So there we go. After much hard shit, me and Dad have managed to uh, to get it out, and that's the culprit there. So as you can see, I've absolutely fried that bolt. So we're going to put a brand new bolt in there. I think. The next thing is, we've just well, I just tried to mount the grill up and it doesn't appear to want to go very nicely. So we're going to have to give this a go now and try and see if we can mount it. So uh, yeah, wish us luck. And hopefully the next time you see this will be when the grill is on and we've just got to put the lights back on. So off we go. Yes, there it is. It's on. Thank you for your help with it. Well, he's going to continue to help, but we've got the we've got it on. So that's the main thing, and for the most part, it does fit. So the next thing we're going to do is put the screws in it, get it all nice and secure, then put the lights in it, torque the wheels up, and hopefully it looks really, really cool. I'm really hoping it looks cool. It looks pretty cool from over here. Let's get it on. Okay, so each side is now bolted up. So the grill's now bolted on, um, and the top ones are loose. That's there like that. Dad's just finishing his side. Next job's gonna be to put the headlamps in. Um, so to do that, we actually, I, as previously mentioned, we had to faff around with this. So I've given it a bit of a WD up. I should probably give it a wire brush up actually. Um, and then I've found another bolt, which I have, uh, no, that's not it. I don't know where I've put the other bolt. I've lost it, um, but I will find it and then we'll put it in and then we'll put it in there. There's the other bolt, right? So that's gonna go in there, and that's gonna have a washer on it, this washer here, and that's gonna make sure that that's, that problem's solved. This problem over here, we're just gonna leave. So when the headlamp goes in, I'm gonna get my hand behind there and just try and tighten it, and then hopefully that'll be out because I actually broke the, the clip. So um, yeah, we can't fix that. So that goes in the back of the headlamp. So when the headlamp goes in, we'll, we'll plug that in and get that done. Come on, why be so much more happy? Be happy. Why are you so miserable? Say hello, everyone. Why are you so miserable? Right, let's get a hello dad in chat. Right. <laughs> hey, scrapper. That's not very nice, is it? Right, let's get this done. Dad's on the camera, everyone. For the first time ever, I've managed to drag Dad in. That's it, you feel nice, you're actually doing it. Right, right follow me. <laughs> right, we've got one more clip to do, top side, and then we're done. Um, yeah, I actually can't really believe that we've, um, that I managed to do this, to be fair. Even with help, it's, uh, there was, yeah, I'm quite happy actually. If this is going in, I mean, you can have it. Come on! That's the thing, though, like, plastic swings are always like, swings are hard to get in. There we go. Oh my days, I cannot believe we actually did it. 
going into this, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I thought we were going to have so many issues. I didn't genuinely think I'd be able to do this on my own. Um, granted, I had some fitting help with Dad, but for the most part, every problem I solved on my own, which I'm extremely proud of. The next thing we have to do is put the wheels back on, take the old number plate off of my very horrible grill, and put it on the super cool black grill. I've also got to do that under tray as well now, I've just seen it. So yeah. Oh my gosh, it's done. Right, let's get this on, let's get this finished. Let's take it out. Last touches now. Hopefully we'll finish the, uh, get it down. Oh, oh, hallelujah! There it is. Oh, we've got to put the number plate on. Oh, there's always something extra to do. Everyone in the comments below, hashtag mechanic stuff. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Look at that! How cool! How cool does that look? It looks so mean. I can't believe we did it. I actually can't believe, like genuinely, coming into this, didn't think it was gonna happen, didn't think I was actually gonna be able to do it. I got as far as the headlight bulb last time, and this time round, we've only gone and actually done it. I've got to talk the wheels and put the number plate on, but that, that is it, then we don't have to do it ever again, and it's done. Woo! How you feeling, Dad? Yeah, he's excited, he's loving it. Yeah, I know I've got to do the number plate. Do you want to talk to Wheels while I do the number plate? Yeah, he's going to do it, man. Get in. Next shot, rolling out of this garage. Let's do it. It was daylight. Now it's night time. There she is. Oh, yeah. Spin it! Go! <laughs> finally finished thank you so much for watching it's been an epidemic well it's been, it's been an episode and a half it's been an adventure and a journey and i'm so happy that we did it and i'm so happy i was able to do it thank you guys so much for watching it's still revving it we'll see you in the next one take care bye bye